It's spring break for Guilford County students, and while most teens would rather be at the beach or somewhere else, dozens gave up their free time to talk about violence in their city and also ways to prevent it among their peers. Our Kirsten Gutierrez was at the Youth Summit on Violence today and joins us live in High Point. So Kirsten, who put on this event? Talitha, for the second year in a row, the Burns Hill Neighborhood Association hosted the event, and this year, the Attorney General stopped by. Dozens of Guilford County students filled the R.C. Baldwin Education Center in High Point Wednesday to discuss the problems they are seeing across their community. Because we have a lot of violence in our neighborhoods, and they are our future, they are the ones that know what's happening, so it's important for them to be here to spread the word that, you know, we won't tolerate violence anymore. The Burns Hill Neighborhood Association organized the Youth Summit on Violence in hopes of reaching at least one student and preventing them from going down the wrong path. I think the parents learned that all the kids are not bad. It's just, it's just a few that are driving the problems that we have. And we do have some good kids in our communities. And just hoping that maybe change some of the bad kids. Attorney General Josh Stein stopped by the summit to give students advice and take questions. What we want to do is educate young people to make smart decisions. I have teenagers. Teenagers do not always make the best decisions. And so it's all about giving them the tools so that when they're at that moment where they make a decision that can set their life on a path of incarceration or to walk away and have the ability to lead the life that they want, that they make that right choice. And that's why I think today's session is really great. The Attorney General wants students to know no matter what is going on, someone is always available to talk to them. Always find somebody to talk to. Uh, teenagers so often feel the weight of the world on their shoulders and they think that nobody else is going through what they've gone through. Talk to someone, a school counselor, a parent, a neighbor, an aunt, a grandparent, somebody you know and trust. Yeah. Just understand you're not the only one who's going through this issue. Organizers say it was a huge success this year and they hope to bring back the summit next year and for years to come. Live in High Point, Kirsten Gutierrez, WXI 12 News.